music is amazing. Good. This is one of my favorite ones. I have this one on my website, I believe, because it's so relaxing and I love rain sounds. Everyone get out your thick mats. sounded like metal. It was probably when I was getting my coffee stuff going. Pour the rest of it, and then another five minutes on that. So we're just gonna stretch. Can you all hear me okay still? Oh, yeah, athletic. It was probably me making my French press because the French press itself is metal. Mm. Who's was doing yoga with me this morning? Like, with me, with me. Mm. Mm. No skull, Marie. They're in with their dad still, thank God. stretch a little while we're waiting to get started because I gotta get my coffee finished. King's Coast, best coast! Oh, check out this blast from the past. I have a new version of this shirt on the store now. This was like one of the original logos that someone did for me. <laughs> it's good shit. No fucks given. because from the angle it looks like it just says no fuck given. <laughs> no fucks given. Mm. No, I'm just stretching for us. I'm making my coffee still. I got a couple minutes left and then I can pour the rest of the water in because I do the bloom thing. This is me blooming, apparently. Um, so once that's done, then I wait five more minutes, and then I can pour the coffee. You'll stay out for yoga one day, you get some rest, friend. Mm. 
It's really not. Do you make French press coffee for us? I think it was Riles that taught us. Or maybe it was Mummy that taught me, and then Riles, like, explained it in greater detail when they were here. No? You do drip? You do espresso? Got it. Um, well it's basically like I pour, I pour the beans, like the ground up coffee, into my French press, which kind of just looks like a big carafe. And I pour water over it, bringing it up to about halfway full. Just enough, kind of like, I pour it in a pattern to where all of the beans are covered. So it kind of gets a little frothy on the top almost, so it's like a very slow pattern kind of going over it until all of the beans are covered and it's a little frothy. And then you let that sit for like five minutes and then you pour in the rest of the water and put the lid back on and then you let that sit for like five minutes. I don't know, supposedly it makes it better. I haven't made coffee without blooming in like years now. It's a little brighter this morning at least. Nice. Yeah, I think it's supposed to make it creamier, because like a French press is kind of a cre creamier way to make coffee anyway. But it doesn't take too much long, or too much time, it's just a little bit of a thing. Now we just have another five minutes before I pour. And then once the coffee's poured, we can get started with the yogas. Oh, ready for another good day. Man, I'm really loving this new schedule, friends. I'm tired at night when I need to be. I feel pretty good in the mornings when I wake up. Like, this morning I was kind of dragging, because Money's alarm went off like an hour and a half ago. I think it was longer than that even, and I was like, no, no. Ugh. But, it is what it is. I'm awake, feel mostly good, I drink a lot more water, wake my buns up. You too, like you like the new schedule? Heck yeah. That's smart. Ugh. Yeah. I've had to push a lot of my stuff to the mornings now, and I just, man, I'm so glad we have the option, right? Like, even though I think you have, like, kind of a standard 9 to 5, it's nice that you are up early enough and you kind of have a flexible enough schedule that you can do that, apparently. And what a great way to start your day, too, with gratitude. Like, thinking about things that you love in your life and then go about your day. We have a neck massager thing. Used the fuck out of it last night in my shoulders because they were feeling super tense. But this is good too. It's 
Seems as though practicing gratitude is good no matter when you do it. Were you here when we talked about scripting thrust? Any of the times we talked about scripting? Because that could be a fun thing. If you're doing your journaling in the morning, you could do it the way Mav does it. She has smart cookie. Mm. Two minutes, friends. Then I can pour my coffee. No? Explain? Okay. In the podcast that I did with Mav, um, the one on the Mind of Snap podcast, she talked about how she journals at the beginning of her day. She called it scripting. And she basically writes down things in her journal as though it's the end of the day and it's already happened. So she used an example of like, she would write down, today was such a great day, I had so many raids and hosts, everyone was so nice, I really enjoyed my day, something to that extent, right? So she would script, script her day, and she said the majority of the time that she scripted things, it actually happened. And I really kind of like that idea, so I told Duple and Riles and a bunch of other people when we were at Guardian Con. So we started scripting like verbally together. We would be just like, like we talked about Guardian Con after Guardian Con was over. And we were like, I'm so glad that after Guardian Con 2019, we all went back home feeling inspired. No one suffered from any post con blues. And we just got ourselves back in a good routine. And we're really grateful. and. We were doing it last night again, and we were kind of scripting 2021, or 2022, and 2025. It's it's like a fun little exercise in future planning, um, but MAP does it on a daily basis, and we've been doing it kind of just like sporadically for fun. I like it too. I thought it was a really cool idea for like setting the intentions of your day, and MAP is just, Mav is like, oh, such a beautiful flower child. <laughs> Ow. shot I think it's a cool idea do script let me know how you like it um all right friends is anyone ready to do some yoga with me who's coming with me what's the video we're doing today oh it's not hard <laughs> I'm a person who loves challenges On day four. Oh, okay. All right, we got this. You have to leave in five. That's cool. So this week it's 23 minutes, which is nice because yesterday's was 32. So today it's 23 minutes, and this one I bet is going to be great. Core power wake up. Okay. Any of my other beautiful creatures in here gonna join me for some yoga right about now? Just let me know so I'll wait until you're ready to join. If not, I'll just get myself going. Cha-cha, it's the truth. It's the heckin' truth. Core 
power, wake up. Sounds like many planks. <laughs> she's got her. Uh, oh, I see what she's doing in the video. I heard a noise. Yo, that's what's up, Cha Cha. That's what's up. You finished that book. You finished it real good. We're just gonna say fuck it. All right, we're on Yoga with Adrienne, the Reunite August 2019 playlist, and we're gonna do the fourth video in the series. It's called Core Power Wake Up. If you would like to follow along, please do so. If you would like to treat this as homework, please do so. I'm just gonna pause it right when it starts. Welcome to Yoga to see how the exposure looks. Because that video we just had on was pretty light, so I feel like the exposure should be good. But you never know. It's a bit bright, but it's not bad. Right? You should be able to see me plus her. Be Gucci. It will be your homework. I love it. I referenced you yesterday um, towards the end of the day because I was talking about how it's nice that you've been treating it as homework and I was kind of suggesting that other people do. Do you want more homework for us? Because you can join us in the book club book. Book club. It's a book club. We read books. Man, that really is bright though. Do it! It's a good book. It's good. It's very enjoyable. Adrian, I'm Adrian, and this is Benji, and today we have a mindful core power Benji wake up. Benji is a good boy. So hop into something comfy, and let's get to it. Squeeze in 
in towards the back of the right knee here, pressing into both palms you. Feel a nice stretch through the glute, keep pressing into the top of the right foot for stability. Now just back the way you came. Here you go, left toes come around. Semi-circle, I should say, not full circle, all the way around. Press away from your yoga mat. Nice, slow, steady movement. Exhale all the way back around. This freaking dog will bend in my way. In and out. Stay connected to your core as you continue this movement. Once you feel like you have it, you can take your eyes off of the video and bring your gaze straight down so you can play with nice... That's how you get scoliosis coming, so... It's the wrong time of day for you, Drogator. To learn, to listen. Beautiful. This right. is awkward. Bring the left knee all the way back underneath the left hip okay. point. Yeah, take let's... a break off the wrist a second here by curling the toes under, extending the hips back. You're gonna bring the fingertips forward, elbows come to the ground, and then just take a little namaste. Mm. Shark fin here, bringing the palms or the fingertips together. You might get a little stretch in the triceps here. Breathe into your belly, close your eyes, come into your private little love cave. Who said that core strengthening had to be <laughs> A bummer had to be a pain, had to be a struggle. I think like three so of us said that. Practice. Inhale in and exhale, coming back to your tabletop position. Great, find that connection to your core. And then when you're ready, right toes are going to come all the way out, find that stretch length. And then here we go, right toes. Drawing a big semicircle all the way out to the right. Stay connected. To okay, the this feels way better. Here. So, just take a second to. You have ice cream? That. Yo, what a the fucking legs. morning, Zach. That's what's up. Right side of the body and the abdominals. We're not collapsing, but finding that connect. Anytime this becomes easier to do, uh, I am a ninja. Patient, breathe deep. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, draw a line nice and slow. Get the right foot. We're going to bring it all the way around. Bend the knee and bring it right behind the back of the left knee. Squeeze, feel that stretch. Press into both palms evenly. I'm feeling the lower belly and the upper abdominals engage. Draw in towards the center of my core, and then I'm going to go back the way I came. Nice and easy here. Keep it going. Press into both palms evenly. Hey, Zuni. Yeah. Upper abdominals and lower belly joint movements in the body. For this view, have any clinching or tension going on in the face of the jaw. Here we go. Palms are going to come to the ground. We're going to go right into our plank pose. No, Russ was right. Strong and steady. When you get there, check your alignment. Wrists underneath the shoulders. <clears throat> Toes in line with the hip points. The knees in line with the hip points. Ankles in line with the knees. Now you're going to reach the heels back. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and look slightly forward here as you lift the front body up to meet the back body. Now, breathe into your belly here. Activate those muscles even more. Make the most of your time on the mat as you breathe, 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 breathe all the way down into your diaphragm. Keep the neck nice and long. We're here for five. Breathe deep. Stick with it in four. Three, you got it. Two. Thank you, Zuni. Three, one. Now we're facing dog. Lift the hips up high. Send the heart back. Ugh. Take a couple moments here to let go of any stress or tension. Clear your mind. And pet, pedal it out, maybe a little bit. Take your dog for a walk. Take your dog for a walk. Now, clawing into the fingerprints, 
wrists or coming onto the elbows if you like. We're gonna anchor through the left heel and slowly just pack the right knee all the way in towards your heart space. You're gonna lift the right knee and flex through the right foot. Pick your knee if you need to. Great, from here we're gonna draw big circles with the right knee one way. Nice and slow. And then when you get back to the center, you're just gonna reverse it and go the other way. Nice and slow. And then twice more, one way. And the other. You have it. You got it. One way. One more time. She said I got it. And then the other. Tugging the muscle is so awesome. Nice and what strong. Up, Check it out. Right knee's going to continue. Oh. Come all the way through. Squeeze right knee in towards the chest. Press away from your yoga mat. Look down. Upper body's in plank. We're here for five, four, three, two, and down. Let me kick your butt again. Here we go. Like, oh, no. <laughs> Why would you want me to do planks again? Amazing. Come on to the elbows here. 
Interlace the fingertips, press the elbows into the ground. Press the pubic bone into the earth, tuck the chin into the chest, inhale, slowly roll it up. You should feel an amazing stretch in your abdominals here. Subtle, but sweet. Tight and nice and easy. Lift one foot up, then the other. And you're going to slowly shift all of your toes toward the right, and then all of your toes to left. Oh, this feels great in your lower back. into your elbows so you're not collapsing your shoulders. All right, and then come back to center. <clears throat> We're gonna bring the knees back in line with the hip points. Curl the toes under, draw the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, press up, power up, come into your power. We're gonna come off the hands in just a moment here, so last little bitty. You're gonna press away from the yoga mat, find your breath, inhale. Exhale, squeeze right knee all the way over and up into left elbow, toward left elbow, excuse me. Then release, body center, then switch left knee over to right elbow. Gaze straight down, back to center. Crisscross back and forth, but make sure you pause and center. Moving nice and slow and mindful. Oh yes, we got this. Feel those muscles turn on and mm. feeling them. Turn on, breathing deep. I think I'm always stretched out too far. Slow and steady, do two more on each side, you got it. Here's one. And oh, this shit. That length in the spine. And here's the second round, you got it. And two, and then here we go, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, press into the tops of the feet. Oh, cobra, Ujangasana. Exhale, release. Inhale in, smile. And then exhale, check it out. Fancy yoga move. Flip flop all the way under your back. <laughs> <laughs> when you get there, take so your hands fancy. Your belly if you like. Feel the ground, the earth underneath you. Oh. And then bend the knees, bring the feet up. Fingertips are going to come towards the heels. We're going to walk the shoulder blades underneath. Inhale, lift the hips. Stretch through the belly, just one little bridge pose here. Draw your chest to your chin, and then your chin to the sky. Take one more breath here, and then slow and steady release. Awesome. Keep the hands where they are, press up off the ball joints of the big toes, and lift the knees up towards the sky. Now, try to get your knee over your hip point, but you want your lower back to be supported, so there's going to be a little bit of movement as you build strength in your core. So if you're just waking up these muscles for the first time maybe ever, you might want to bring the knees a little bit closer so you feel that support. If you're slowly waking up these muscles and in time find that you can bring the knees further back, more stacked over the hip points, work in that direction. Okie doke, here we go. You're going to extend the right leg, just the right leg. And then exhale the knee. Inhale, extend the left leg, just the left leg. Nice, inhale, extend the right leg. And you lower it down just a bit. And then bring it in, and then left leg. Inhale, to extend, lower it maybe just a bit. And then bring it in. So we're working subtle movement here. You've done all this great work in the upper body, so now we're working subtle movement. And this is really activating lower belly. So palms pressing into the earth. Upper body is relaxed. Bring that sensibility. Don't to relax. A yogi to this. Upper body relaxed, soft, and graceful. Inhale, extend one leg. And exhale, slowly bring it. These knees are going to want to come all the way up, so keep it nice and far away. Okay, nice and easy. We're moving. Inhale, things to If you need more of a 
a challenge, got to have more. Just lower that leg that extends and then reel it back in. Oof. You don't want to overwork the hip flexor here so that you can't continue to do the reps, but maybe you do find a way to lower that extended leg. Mm. Can you play around here and keep it going? Tension in the upper body to cope. So if you can use your focus. Use your breath to stay. Breathe in. And if you stay committed, you can do it. harder than it looks. That's the ticket. All right, here we go. Even it out. Then keep the knees over the hip points. You're going to inhale in, reach your fingertips up and overhead. Exhale, straighten the legs, reach the fingertips up towards the toes. Inhale, bend the knees, bring it back down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Imagine you're bringing a big beach ball up towards your toes. Inhale, back down. Exhale, bring it up. Inhales. Exhale. Stick with me, guys. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. You got it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Give it your energy. Exhale, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. And release everything, hug the knees into the chest. You did awesome, amazing. Ugh. Call the shoulder blades down the back body. Close your eyes. Imagine you're a bear cub scratching your back on a tree. <laughs> and let it open. You killed that. And if you struggle with that, um, I admire you for sticking with it, for just still listening, still having the video playing. <laughs> and remember, you can think the idea is to repeat this, to use this along with your yoga practice, along with your other training. Use it as a little at-home supplemental core power wake-up call. When you're ready, let's rock and roll up and down the length of the spine. Ooh, Zach, thank you for 44 months. A nice supportive breath, something that feels awesome. Mm -hmm. Maybe inhaling this idea or this feeling of new sensation or change. You're gonna do the snap yoga from the bod. I like it. Join, join us. One of us. You're ready to up to a nice seat. Let's take a little twist to one side.
No, you don't need to apologize, Jimmy. Okay, I really liked that one. Um, Jimmy, do things at your own pace. Yeah, yoga right after a meal sounds fucking terrible. <sighs> I really liked that one. I always love her, like the little bits that she includes. And just that very simple, um, like hugging and loving your body make me legit emotional. Feeling super grateful. Oh, and those core workouts, bro. Bro. Was anyone able to do it along with me today? Yeah, unfortunately though, Jimmy, yoga is expensive in a lot of spots. I noticed that too. Because I found a local spot that I liked and I was like, ooh, I should start going here for yoga. It's really close. Like, it would be very reasonable to pull off. But even in like, like a yoga studio that's like the size of my living room, maybe honestly even a little bit smaller. No, I think it's about the size of my living room. Um, I would have been paying like over, over $100 a month to be able to go. I'm like, yeah, I don't. I don't have the doll hairs for that. <sighs> Man, that, that will wake up your core. So no one did it with me today? Don't worry, I'm not upset. I'm just wondering, because if anyone is doing it with me, I, I was gonna add something to it at the end. We basically do live in the forest, yeah. Yeah, the planking on the, sh on the elbows was hard but easier for me than the stuff on the wrists. That starts to hurt my wrists a little bit quickly too. Like I'm trying to actively remember, and I guess this is where the benefit of doing these classes in person can come in. If you can go in and get like a little foundation and like have an instructor help you with basic stuff, it can make a big difference. But I remember being in a yoga class and then talking about like really putting that force on your fingers instead of your wrists. So when she says like claw through the mat, that's really what you're trying to do is like alleviate some of the pressure here and put it more on like your fingertips. And it, it does work for a lot of it. Oh nice, all back. No, you don't need to apologize. That shit was rough. That, I thought it was gonna be like scissor kicks, right? Which like scissor kicks are a great core workout too. But that was like, it felt so much more controlled and like those very simple movements, like yeah, my core is on fucking fire. Albeck, you wanna do some more ab workouts with me? Lost Souls, you wanna, you wanna just crush a little more core workout real quick? Like while we're here, right? Okay, so there's this one, I don't remember the name of it, right? But when I was in jujitsu, one of my instructors got this video, um, I forget what it was called, P90X maybe? It might have been around that time, but there was this like one particular segment called Ab Rippers. So we used to do Ab Rippers on Wednesdays. And I don't remember all of the different ones we did. The thing where we were kind of reaching up towards our feet was sort of like a variation of one of them. Um, but for the first one, we're going to target the obliques. And this one, do as many as you can and remember to breathe while you do it. So you're just sitting with your legs crossed like this, but you're going to kind of lean back and bring your heels up like this. And you make kind of like a, like a cable grip or a cable grip with your hands. 
and then you're just gonna go like this and you kind of like rotate your hands and your knees and just do as many of those as you can. We used to shoot for 60 to 100. such an easy thing and then you get into it and you're like fuck <laughs> I liked I loved doing those on a regular basis though I used to do those in the scissor kicks like every day that was when I actually had abs as you can imagine your butt so much <laughs> it feels a little weird like leaning back like this for sure oh are you not using the mat you hacking cutie you need a, a yoga mat of some kind you had abs once yo same all right i'm gonna drink my coffee i'm gonna do ab rippers another day i don't know if i'll be able to actually do it as i think about laying down and doing that right now. Scissor kicks I think would just brutalize me after that legs in the air bicycle shit we were doing. I'm not even bicycle, it kind of, well kind of. Mm. Praise be. No darling, time to get you a yoga mat. souls you feel that though right you feel that like you feel it it's it's one of those things where as you're doing it kind of like with the ones we were doing and then like the scissor kicks you notice your stomach collecting this little pooch <laughs> like even even if there's not a ton of it there there's at least like a little bloop and then when you're doing those whatever they call them like the obliques ones you notice it too you're like just holding up this tummy as you're like bouncing around it and then your sides are sore and then your like little tummy's sore. Mm. Time to bring that flexibility back, Jimmy. I'm glad that you're you're gonna be joining in like after you tune into the VOD later. And I have been highlighting all of these. I've been meaning to put them out on YouTube, but I keep forgetting, so I'll try to get those out there today. Oh. Oof, yes, especially on those wrist things. No wonder that hurt so much. Because, yeah, without the mat and this, like, perfect texture to, like, really claw your hands into, I feel like that would be really uncomfortable. Because I've tried like just on this like area rug stretching out a little bit and it's one thing to like stretch my legs out and just be like stretching but to do like downward dog or planking or anything no dice oh I'm just so glad you're joining us Jimmy you're gonna be number I think seven out of the people who have been kind of like tuning in who have said they're gonna start doing yoga with us this is like all that I did this for <laughs> really it's to like try and hopefully motivate other people who can see that like I'm not in great shape right now either to do something that's free and in your home. Like the biggest expense is to get yourself a yoga mat because it makes a big difference and we're talking like 10 bucks. 
You can get them at like Walmart even. So if you have a Walmart near you, you could have a yoga mat today. Otherwise, the I have two different Amazon mats. This one, if you look on my wish list, um, exclamation point wish list, if you look on there, you should be able to find this this real thick daddy Amazon Basics one. And then there's a slightly thinner version as well. And I think both are pretty cheap. Thrust, do you remember how many doll hairs, if you don't mind me asking, this thick, thick boy mat is? Because like, especially for less than 20, yeah, they're, they're not crazy pricey. And like, man, the difference of this like double thickness mat, I wouldn't, if I were going to a yoga class, I don't know if I would want to carry this one with me everywhere just because it's a little bit thicker and larger. Um, but for like at home especially, this is super amazing. Ooh, yikes. Okay, Lost Souls. Yeah, this makes a big difference, especially on... Did you get to watch this one at all, Thrust, or were you already on your way to work? Because you were fucking right about planks. You were already on your way to work. Whew. It, I feel awake and like my brain feels sharp as fuck right now. And because Money's alarm went off like an hour and a half before I planned to wake up, I really was expecting to feel kind of moot for more of the day. Um, I feel fucking alert as shit right now. I feel really good. And I, even this, this simple hand thing at the end, when she was like get, generating heat and talking about her heart and stuff, I was like, man, it's those little movements that make such a big difference. This, this was a very enjoyable video. I think this one was the most challenging so far, but also the most enjoyable. very good at it and like I just I love that yoga is so mindful I love that like she towards the end of this video she like warmed my heart by like hugging herself and like loving her own body and I just think that's so powerful and so special and it, it made me emotional like watching her do that and seeing like she really means what she says like she really loves her body and I really love my body and I'm like very grateful to be in this and after she kind of like joked about it and she was doing this, she was talking about just being grateful for your body. And I was like, whew, don't cry, don't cry. This is good, this is good. She's a good noodle, yeah. Hi, dirty doorknob. Now all I have to work on is getting the remaining small amount of treats and snacks that I have in this house out of this house because I've been snacking after my meals at night and I need to not do that. We realized that Fritos were gluten-free and they go very well with salsa and like really, really great with avocado, like guac and stuff. So I've just been like snacking on super sodium packed foods at night. And I normally don't have, like we don't have chips, we don't have little like granola bars or snacks of any kind really. We just have our meals and then fruit and veggies. So it's been not smart having, yes, still fasting all day. So like I've been eating, I haven't been eating until eight o'clock, but I've been eating food that I just like serves no purpose. Like I had veggie fried rice last night and if I had just eaten that, I would feel wonderful today. But because I ate like a quarter of a bag, like one of those family size bags, because I ate like a quarter of a bag of Fritos, I have, like I woke up this morning with that like pregnant looking belly, you know, just like, great, hello bloating, welcome. So Jimmy, depends, it depends, right? Like I definitely don't recommend that anyone start out with fasting and jump right into one meal a day. That, it's, it's a thing. But it's, it, it was like a personal choice for us because we realized 
we felt the best when we only had one large meal every day. So I do find that my energy levels are actually better. Because like a lot of the food that I was eating before wasn't necessarily like the most nutritious. Like I've been eating pretty clean for years, but there are those little things that sneak in, right? Um, so like I was already eating foods that are relatively energizing, but digestion takes energy. It takes some of your body's focus. So I noticed that when I ate during the day, even when I ate really clean, I generally would still have a little dip in my energy. Like I could eat a fatty salad and still be like a little bit as I start to digest it. So doing OMAD, like one meal a day, my digestion time ties in perfectly with my rest time. So as like a former insomniac, it just pairs very well. But like I was doing gym in the morning, like running on the treadmill. Um, I was doing jujitsu for a little while. Like there have been different types of workouts, both strength and cardio related that I've done while fasting. And I don't notice any issues with my energy levels. Yep, exactly, Jimmy, exactly that. Ooh, yummy thrust. Oh, that's really nice, Lost Souls. You were looking forward to this? That's, that's like such a wonderful compliment. But yeah, Jimmy, I don't have that anymore. And like, I don't get hungry in the way I used to, which is probably one of the best parts about fasting. Like, if, if I get hungry, it's, it's more of like a mental cue than like a super strong, um, like sensory one. It's like, hmm, you get to eat soon. What are you gonna have? It's not like, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Stomach growling, getting agitated. Oh my God, just shut the fuck up. I just need to eat something. I will feel so much better when I eat something. Instead, it's more like a pleasant kind of hunger where I'm just like, I know that I get to eat soon. I know that I'm almost in my eating window and I'm excited about what I'm gonna eat today. Does it still feel the same as the hunger that you would have experienced before fasting? Because for me, I'm like, like, if, if I'm planning to eat at eight and something happens and like I wind up not being able to eat for a couple more hours after that, does not phase me. I just get busy again. Bing, bing, bing. Still phases you? Damn. You're fired then, I guess. That sucks though, because hunger is not fun. That's smart thrust. That's how we used to do things. We would break something, break fast with something um, like light and simple, and then we would have our big meal. Now I like if you were to see the effort that goes into like me sitting down to my meal at the end of the night, usually because I don't want to like burn my mouth on my food, I get like everything ready. I set out my plate and like whatever I'm eating on the table, I grab my silverware, I grab a napkin. Then I grab, I make sure I have my beverages available. And then usually once I look around and I'm like, I have everything that I need, great. Then I'll spark a joint if I have them or like take a couple hits of the vape, close my eyes, take a few deep breaths. And then I stare at the meal and slowly devour. Fancy fish with their napkins. So fancy. Sometimes I'll admit I use paper towels, but Usually I buy those giant packs ugh, of napkins. Man, the bicycle thing that we did, like, I really felt that shit in my hips, man. In, the, in a good way, especially considering, like, all of the streaming and sitting in chairs all day. Mm. It's not like the ones you're thinking, probably, Thrust. 
Well, I suppose it could be. I've never done bicycle kicks like this before. It's very minimal controlled movements and wow. Thrust, you're gonna like it. It's like, uh, you're like holding them here and then you're just going like this and then down and back. And like this and then like down and back. It's, it, it's pretty, pretty simple controlled movements, but ooh, girl, <laughs> just you wait. It was interesting how she said like you might start to feel some tension manifest in your shoulders to kind of compensate and like as she said that I noticed my shoulders start tensing and I was like okay release release. It felt really good thrust and some of the other things we were doing felt really good on our hips too or on my hips. Hey Batherson, how have you been friend? Oh thanks. Good morning, Tech. In general, though, I think your wife will like this one just because it, it felt great on my hips, too. Mm, fuck yeah, what? My coffee. That was the water. Did you miss anything, Albeck? No. But I'm glad that you, uh,. You were able to get your stuff. Yeah, I, I kind of expected that, Batherson, not to be all like I told you so, but um, it's just, it's a more potent way of getting it. If you're not using something that's like psychoactive um, or like nicotine based, I think vaping is pretty ineffective. Like you need a lot of it to get what like one dose of the drops could potentially do for you. Oh, I'm fucking great. It's been a while. Um, I don't know when I saw you last, but what's new in your life? It's been at least two days. At least. No, oh, really? Was it pouring? No. I also like it thrust and I was legitimately just looking at my vape over there like I am feeling very alert right now. <laughs> I mean if you're not going wild with it though thrust, like I feel like it's probably nothing we have to be too too concerned about. Just, you know, lungs are pretty good at cleaning themselves. Um, it depends on your size. You might want to, depending on where you're going, you might want to talk to them about a dosing guide. Like Nature's Ultra has a dosing guide on their website, and you can also talk to them in their live chat and see what they would recommend. You don't even necessarily have to buy their products, like they're just all about education, which is nice. Oh, there you go, Albeck. You're really slaying today. You got your yoga, you got your cardio. Ooh, yes, ask me about the book club book. We are reading Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics. I'm gonna announce um, timing probably this weekend. Maybe by next weekend, I'll expect everyone to have gotten through the first chapter, and then we'll spend a week trying out that meditation before we move on to the next chapter. Guitar Cat, you have all been blessed. So I'm almost finished with it and so is Cha Cha, but as I'm like getting through this book, I've realized this is such a great book to do with the group. And like the one that we tried for book club, it didn't leave us much to review together. It was more just like, oh, that was an interesting part. I liked it. But because this one, almost every chapter, um, they include uh, some like instruction on a certain style of mindful meditation. 
I figured it would be a really good one for us to do together because we can read the chapter, learn the little bit, um, learn whatever style of meditation they want to teach us that day because there's like walking meditations, compassion meditations, all this kind of stuff. So we'll just spend a week after reading that chapter trying out that new meditation together and then we can read the next chapter and do the same. So each chapter will probably take two weeks. It's just such a good book, and I, I love the practical, like, scientific-based knowledge, and then I love all of the anecdotal stuff and all of the, like, meditations that they offer. It's, it's really interesting. The dude who teaches the meditations, um, and if you listen to it on audiobook, bonus points for you, because it's very enjoyable in audiobook. Um, but yeah, I think, I just think those meditations are really nice. Start the rebroadcast first. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good audiobook. I like it a lot. I'm trying to think of when I should take my shower. If I should take it right after I'm done with stream, or if I should just go in my office, work and then smoke and shower right before stream. That might make, might make more sense. Thanks, Klepto. Thank you very much. Actually, it's been cool for a couple of days. What has the weather been like by you, friends? Oh, it's gonna start getting warmer again. Today is a cool day though. It's not gonna hit 80. That's great. Yeah, the rain was nuts. I agree, Lost Souls. Because we have the same thing. This was record rain for the Chicago area. Eighty-six day degrees all day, or every day year round. That's beautiful. Oh, eighty-eight degrees. It's wild how as soon as I get here it looks like a six, and then as I move in it's an eight. That's cool. Do you like it there?
London? Oh, that's where you left? What made you want to move to Singapore? feels so alert right now. I'm so grateful. I really thought today was going to be like not as productive of a day because like my the last two days I've woken up feeling a little bit more fresh. Today I woke up feeling groggy. Oh, I wish you daylight, Jimmy. What do you do for work? Klepto? Klepto? Life is good, life is good. Ooh, I'm almost out of my giant bag of King's Coast. I gotta remember to get more. There was something I was gonna purchase today. What was it? Oh, dog. Dag food. Don't mind me, I'm just going to shop for dog food real quick. just got. He was kind of switching up their stuff a little, and they seemed to really like it. You're so different to the D1 player you remember? Bruh, you're telling me. Man, I'm, I will forever be grateful that my, like, change happened while I was online. You know, like I've, I've been streaming for four years now and the first two years-ish, I was just so super angry. And like, I think it showed. If you look back through my tweets, if you look at the way that I treated people who wronged me, even people who were nice, like I was, I was not in a great state of mind. So it's kind of cool now to look back on that and be like, wow, I was she snaps for a reason and now I, I can barely even, like, remember being that person who was that angry. It's good shit, friend. It's good shit. Hmm. This, uh, Petco kind of sucks balls, doesn't it?
wants to run out before he has to leave. No? Yo, what up, that dad cab? Good day to you, my friend. So when I go in there, I know it's gonna be like perfect freshness. I'm excited to do some learning today. Um, I have this new like video editor software that I'm gonna fuck around with and learn a little bit about. Man, this new schedule, I just cannot say enough. I feel like I have so much time again. And I can't tell you the last time I felt like I had this much time. Oh, I am too, Thrust. I feel like we finally found what works for us. So we'll see ugh, how long this lasts. I think I really could see this being something that I could stick to like super long term. Because I love being up early in the morning and this really forces me to like get my buns moving, you know? I, I can't just meander. I have to stay on task. I've been really good at budgeting my time. Um, it's from Adobe. It's Premiere Rush, I think it's called. It's like Premiere Pro but like a, a smaller version of it. But it's it's supposed to be decent for like putting together little videos and uh, DJ Nagi is like the best thing to happen to my my YouTube and forever he's such a great person oh there you are hello um, and he's been helping me so much with my vlogs but I want to learn a little bit so that I can at least do some stuff myself you know um, hold up I'm gonna let the babies out I mean, the name of the program is correct. That is correct. I am amazing. Mmm, I'll let you know how I like it. Um, I downloaded it yesterday, opened up the program, and it was like, are you ready to learn how this works? And I was like, fuck yeah. And then Money woke up and was like, 
Do you want to have coffee with me? I'm like, yes, I do, actually. I will take my break now. Oh, man, I'm in such terrible shape right now. Oi. Hi, babies. Come back in, babies. You're just little babies. Oh, you're so little. Easy, okay, Mama's got her coffee now. And so get off your brother's dick. Hi, I'm sharing your bed, okay? On a billion views, I thank you. Easy, puppers. All right, you guys get to enjoy a nice little puppy rumble. Easy on each other, bros. Enzo, seriously, dude, gross. Leave your brother alone, yuck. Hey, 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 leave. What are you doing? You're so gross. Now you're all gross and drooly. Yuck. Nasty boy. Hey, hey, hey. You wanna come up here and lay down like a normal puppy? Everyone loves you. Did you know that? I'm gonna put my little feet by you, okay? I'm gonna put my feet by you. And so leave his butt alone. Go, quit drooling on him. Quit drooling on him. You make his skin worse when you do that. Ugh. Don't you love Capone's very gentle tail wag? Seriously, go, dude. You are obsessed with him. Hey. Hey, go lay down. Quit sliming on everything. You're so gross and frothy. Ew. Lay down. Come on, up on your spot. Lay down. Capone, quit licking. Quit licking. You know that's bad for you. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, up. Enzo, spot. Come on, spot. What did I just tell you? Capone. Good, now lay down. No, there you go. Down. There. Quit licking, bud. Quit licking. You got your brother all slimy now. Nasty boy. Go home. You gotta stop, bud. You, lay down. Down. There you go. No, don't immediately go for your dick. Oh my goodness. This is the hardest part about dealing with them, is like how much time they each want to spend just slobbing on each other. Ropes, six sickos. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Capone, Capickle, Capoops, what are you doing? Was your brother getting in your ears this morning? Was he bugging your ears? Mm. I'm surprised that Boo hasn't come out.
to send you to when I shut down. <sighs> this one's on my website, Jimmy. The link to this video. If you go to mindofsnaps.com, I have a blog post on there. It's like nine chill songs for meditating and relaxing. The final one I have to update because that video got pulled from YouTube for some reason, but this one is our favorite. We call it Guitar Cat because every now and then the cat plays the guitar and it kind of catches you by surprise. It's like a blessing if you happen to notice Guitar Cat. You move it closer? Pitbulls are dangerous. Break a phone. You're ferocious. You're ferocious and you'd eat someone's face off. You're a face eater. A world ender. Of course, Skull Marine. Oh, thank you, Lost Souls. I'm glad that you liked those. I'm happy that you did hang out, Skull Marie. I appreciate you. I hope that you have a really good day. It's funny because this is like how I would wake up, except I would be sitting there and staring out the windows instead of staring like into my house at you guys but like this is how I love to start my day with music like this coffee my puppies <sighs> some nice deep breaths Because it's, it's repetitive enough that it's not distracting, but it's not the repetitive style that would be irritating where you'd be like, I can't listen to this over and over again. Like, I, at least for me, I've found it to be like very nice and peaceful. And I have a lot of my favorite like rain and ocean sound ones on there. Ooh, actually, I know what I'll swap out that last one for. Great job. 
job. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good boy. Her. Good sir, what? 
What did you do with your toy? Do you even know? Do you even know where you put it? Oh, there's your pig toy. That's a fun toy. That's a fun toy. You just want to go outside though? Self handicapping? Oh, it's got a term. <laughs> That's so cute. You gotta leave your toy in here, bud. That's really cute. And that's like how they play with the cat, too. They're very gentle with her. He does it with his lady friend dogs, too. Aww. Cute babies are cute. So are you all excited to have a good day now? We started off, got our blood flowing. Mm. Ooh, I just got a nice little back crack. We got our blood flowing. We got a puppy butt here. Oh, is that good? Food? Mm hmm. Today is not only going to be a great day, it is going to be a killer day. suggestions for me to host today with our nice little little boost or should I maybe not even do that since I'm just gonna go and start a rebroadcast maybe I should just end stream I don't know I don't know what makes more sense should I host someone so that y'all can go to some place that like there's an active streamer or should I just shut down and then start the broadcast? Because then we can all stay in this chat together. Oh. Because I'm going to go from here into my office. <laughs> You're just confused? Why are you confused, Jimmy? You're down for either? Okay, okay. No you all back, no you. Enzo, stop. Oh, got it. Um, I'll just shut down, because we don't have like a, there's not a ton of us, right? So I'll just shut down, and then I can keep the chat open, because what happens is I shut stream down, I grab my camera, I bring it back into my office, I really quick sit down at my desk and begin the process of highlighting and rebroadcasting. So it'll be like a five minute gap, but I'll be in chat again like very quickly. So we can check in with each other throughout the day. souls have a great night all right friends this has been a great morning stream I thank you for hanging out while I engaged my core yeah for real it's still very early for a lot of us because a lot of a lot of my community is on the west coast too no at least it was just the screen protector um yeah thanks for a great stream friends I will see you in chat shortly if you're watching this rebroadcast, um, you know, don't forget, there's a Discord. We're doing a book club now. There's Patreon, patreon.com slash she snaps. Everything else is mind of snaps. Have you ever randomly stood on one leg? No! No! <laughs> all right, I'll see you all shortly. Otherwise, I'll see you at 2 p.m.